Hello, my name's Andy Kerr. I work for Bowers and Wilkins at the Southwater Research Establishment in the UK. I'm going to take the next few minutes to walk you through our products, help you understand a little bit about what we do and why we do it, introduce you to our history, and to help you understand our thinking, the way we view our brand. Right, so let's talk first and foremost about who we are. Now, Bowers and Wilkins thinks of itself as a performance oriented brand driven by advanced technology with the intention that we're always going to deliver leadership in every category that we compete in. So let's look at our product portfolio in more detail. Our flagship, and in many ways the most iconic product Bowers & Wilkins has ever produced, is of course the world famous Nautilus. One of the most distinctive loudspeaker designs of all time, still in production some 20 years after its original development, and in many ways what most people regard as the most beautiful loudspeaker you can buy. Sitting below it is our studio reference performance range, the 800 series diamond. Used in recording studios across the world, beloved by audiophiles and music lovers, available in a range of sizes, and enabled with extremely advanced technologies, including the diamond tweeter, hence the 800 series diamond name, but many other technologies as well, which we cascade into our more affordable ranges of loudspeakers. Sitting below it is the 700 series. This is uh, a more conventional looking range of loudspeakers enabled by some of the premium technologies that go into 800 series diamond, but at more affordable price points. It has a very wide product offering from quite compact two-way up to very substantial floor standard and is available in a wide range of elegant finishes designed to suit every home. Below that we have our affordable performance range, the 600 series, now in its 25th year. Our special anniversary edition range designed to celebrate that was recently released. 600 series, of course, very high performance, but also very affordable, a great way of growing our brand and a great way of establishing Bowers & Wilkins credentials with a younger buyer. We have a whole range of in-store products in in-wall and in-ceiling category, plus custom theatre products. We can also offer architectural and marine solutions allowing you to distribute audio outdoors and even in extreme applications such as in yachts. Our custom installation range is complemented by our range of active wireless products. Formation uses a completely unique wireless platform unrivaled by any competitor in the class, giving us a performance advantage that's able to translate the Bowers & Wilkins promise of superior sound into the wireless audio category. Additionally, we've also moved into headphones and more recently wireless headphones. We now have a portfolio of class-leading in-ear and over-the-ear true wireless headphones with active noise cancellation. We also have very successful automotive partnerships in place with five major manufacturers, BMW, Maserati, McLaren, Polestar and Volvo across many different vehicle types, all with class leading audio performance. Finally and recently we've moved to a very successful partnership with Philips TV in Europe, offering premium performance television sets with sound by Bowers and Wilkins and along the way we've completely transformed customer expectations from sound quality from modern flat panel televisions. We've also established very successful partnerships outside of the product category with key brands that we believe can further improve our brand visibility. For example, if you're travelling on Emirates Airlines, you can enjoy premium sound from Bowers & Wilkins on a pair of headphones specifically developed to suit the noise characteristics of Emirates First Class cabins. We've also established strong relationships with the recorded music industry and music retail. We're the official partners of Abbey Road Studios. We're also the official partners of the Rolling Stones store, RS Number no. 9 on Carnaby Street. And more recently, we've signed a deal with the BPI, the British Phonographic Industry, which has connected us both with new performers via the Mercury Music Prize and with Music Retail via Record Store Day. So let's talk about the history of the company. And of course, the first question people will want to know is why are we here in Worthing in the South Coast in the UK? And the simple answer is the person who founded the company, John Bowers, was born here. Having served in the military during the course of the Second World War, John emerged as a very driven individual, somebody determined to make up for lost time. In the 1950s and the 1960s, he ran a small business with his wartime friend, Roy Wilkins, working on selling loudspeakers and also other audio componentry. He was also a passionate music lover, a regular attendee of live concerts, and he combined that love of music, that enthusiasm for the recorded and live art, with his knowledge of engineering, 
into a determination to always try to produce better sounding products. First in an amateur capacity, prior to the foundation of the Bowers & Wilkins business, working in the store where you would experiment and modify loudspeakers to try and produce better results. And then subsequently, after the generous bequest of money given to him by a wealthy opera singer, Kathleen Knight, in the start of his own business. Now that, of course, was the moment that changed everything. John grasped the opportunity, Roy decided to stay working in the store, and B&W Electronics was born. For the first three years, it operated from the back of the store, but by 1969, it had relocated to a new factory. From there, John moved rapidly to establish a distinct Bowers & Wilkins business, and with it, a unique philosophy on loudspeaker design. The best loudspeaker isn't the one that gives the most, it's the one that loses the least. It's a mantra that we still adhere to to this day. A lot of loudspeaker brands would deliberately attempt to modify the sound of the performance, perhaps by accentuating or improving the bass or mid-range response to make the product sound more exciting. John said, under no circumstances will we do that. Every product that we deliver will be accurate, it will be faithful, it will deliver the performance as the artist intended. Now that of course was quite revolutionary back in the day and it did carry with it some risks. It meant, for example, if the studio engineers didn't know their stuff or the performers couldn't perform, the sound might not be quite so rewarding as it might be through other loudspeakers. But the inverse was, if the performance was fantastic, no model of loudspeaker that you could buy could get you closer to the true sound of the performance than a Bowers & Wilkins loudspeaker. And it's exactly that that the studio engineers so loved because what they want is to deliver the true performance. They want to deliver the artist's intent, not an interpretation of it. So immediately, Bowers and Wilkins found favour in recording studios and that very rapidly grew through the course of the 1970s and the 1980s. John himself was a very driven person. He was always determined to do better. He was a workaholic. He spent six days a week working and he would always try to research, develop, understand and learn. In 1981, he established a dedicated research and development facility for Bowers & Wilkins in the UK, the Stenning Research Establishment, SRE. At the time, a revolutionary idea that was intended to try and improve our understanding of loudspeaker design and get us closer to producing a better loudspeaker. It was the ethos, the thought process, the desire established by the team working in SRE, set up at John's bequest, that allowed the company to transcend his death in 1987 and to continue down the path that he'd laid down for us right from the start. We would always try to make a better product, we would always try to learn more. So let's look at how we apply that thinking to what we do today. First and foremost, we have a very consistent approach to all categories of product, beginning with structures and shapes. The most important element to get right in the products that we produce are the enclosures, the mechanisms that house the drive units, the moving component parts. So whether the product is a very substantial pair of stereo loudspeakers, a soundbar, something portable or a headphone, we begin with mechanically and acoustically optimal forms and structures. Don't get those right and we can't fix those issues later with amplification, EQ, DSP or drive units. Then we move on to drive unit technology. Now we have our own approach, our own philosophy to drive unit design, some very distinct proprietary technologies we've developed over the years, and we will try our best to use them in every product because we believe it gives us a competitive advantage and also a sense of uniqueness, our own identity, that it's very difficult for rivals to emulate. After drive units and structures, we will look for design and control over as much of the audio stack as we can possibly get. In a passive loudspeaker, that of course means things like the crossover and the wiring. In an active product, it means the amplification, the power supply, the EQ, the DSP and more. The more elements we can have control over, the more happy we are that we can deliver sound quality commensurate with the Bowers & Wilkins name. Finally, and this is really crucial, the same acoustic team is responsible for sign-off on every product category that we make. That's how we can ensure both the performance that we want and also the consistency across product experience, whether it's a pair of headphones, premium loudspeakers, automotive audio system, or any other category we operate in. 
So that's the philosophy. Let's look at the applications, the process. Everything makes a difference. So we look at every element and try and optimize as much as we possibly can. First and foremost, by using our own drive unit technologies. As I said, that gives us a competitive advantage. That makes us unique. We'll try and cascade those drive unit technologies through different product categories. So we'll share and emulate the technologies that we have in the 800 series diamond in our affordable ranges using products such as Continuum and giving us competitive advantages in those spaces that no rival can match. We'll also look at detail. The more we understand about the construction of a cabinet, the more we understand about the behavior in a crossover, the more we can optimize. So measurement, simulation, very powerful tools that we use to try and optimize a structure, optimize its behavior, and maximize its potential performance. It's important to understand that our industrial design is also driven by sound engineering and acoustic principles. Even back to our earliest days working with vaunted industrial designers such as Sir Kenneth Grange, first and foremost Bowers and Wilkins products were driven by and defined by correct engineering and acoustic principles. After those were defined we would then give the end result to the industrial designer to produce an appropriately beautiful product. We still follow the exact same model today. So forms, materials, structures, defined by our engineering requirements, beauty driven by our industrial designers. The last key element of our engineering process is our focus on quality rather than quantity. So wherever possible, we will use the fewest possible number of components of the maximum possible quality to deliver a finished component and product to market. We will always reduce elements wherever we can and upgrade the quality of each element to deliver a better result. In that sense, it's very consistent with John Bauer's philosophy that the best loudspeaker isn't the one that gives the most but loses the least. By using a simple crossover design, by using the fewest possible number of drive units of the best possible quality, we can ensure the minimum amount of loss and the maximum amount of quality. And that is inherently consistent with our philosophy of true sound. So what is true sound? True Sound stems from our ability to produce the world's best loudspeakers. It derives its promise from the halo of our reference studio quality loudspeakers, the 800 series Diamond, and our association with world leading recording studios. Essentially, if we can produce products that can meet those standards, the most demanding people in the music business, and satisfy them, we believe we can transform customer expectations in every other audio category that we operate in. And how we do that is by cascading as much of the thinking and as much of the technology as we possibly can through every other product category. True Sound is how we've made ourselves relevant in all of the new spaces that we've operated in in the course of the past 15 years. We no longer consider ourselves to be just a loudspeaker brand. Now we think of ourselves as an audio brand because, of course, we operate in soundbar, TV audio, wireless audio, headphone, automotive audio and more. And always, in all of those categories, it's with that same implicit promise. Buy a Bowers & Wilkins product and you will get closer to the sound that the artist intended than you could with any alternative offering. So, to summarise, true sound is the key to our identity. It's the essence of our outstanding reputation. We apply it consistently to everything that we do. We can adapt to unlikely and challenging locations and difficult to work in spaces, and we can transform customer expectations wherever we do so. We can even go where people thought True Sound simply was not possible, whether that's the wireless space, the TV space, or the headphone space. Now, to quickly summarize in three simple statements first, we are loved by people who love music. Second, music that will soon be heard everywhere is first heard through our loudspeakers. And third, we will never stop trying to make a better product. So you've heard a lot from me. I'm going to leave you with a final thought from the man who started it all, John Bowers. If you can make a better product, then you will sell it. And that's the key to success.